Oh, wow. <laughs> Got him. Wasn't too bad. Wasn't too bad. Oh! Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Godfall. The last video, man, we just bought the uh, the Bulwark Valor Plate, uh, which is kind of a bleed built uh, frame, and we're going to try that build out. So we're going to jump right into it and head straight to the next mission. Well done. We have the rites of ascension. I'll study this spell and learn its secrets. Let me it's... But I cannot fight Macros and his army. That job is yours, and yours alone. Okay. Fight the wolf. Ready to see what you are up against. Show me what you got. Show me my enemies. Okay, we're gonna talk to him. Back to normal Orn voice again. Macros, he's not a god yet. Tell me how the rites of ascension work. In order to complete the rites, Macros will need to absorb a massive amount of Ethereum. I Ethereum. doubt he's gathering all of that energy on his own. Exactly. Each of his lieutenants is channeling elemental energies for him. Hmm. They'll be his strongest allies. Without a doubt. But remember, when you defeat them, their strength... Ah, uh, boss gauntlet. This is the more the far She's a powerful sorcerer. She's an animal, fighting to survive. She sealed herself in her lair behind the prismatic falls. You'll have to find a way to breach her defenses. This is like a bo fun Next boss fight. It's in the water realm, drawing magical energy from beneath the surface. Lunara the Arbiter. is a guardian construct. It won't be easy. Lunara is mindless, but still dangerous. Unfortunately, its participation in the rites has only made it more powerful. Hmm. I recognize this one. Greaves Sunsteel. Greaves is a godsmith and a madman. He is responsible for arming most of Macros's elite warriors. He is also a master of fire magic. He only serves Macros because it benefits himself. Lastly, Gildan Commander, a true believer in Macros's right to become a god. He holds court in the air realm, forcing trials of combat on unwilling souls. Okay. I don't know this one. Macro sees him as your replacement. Killing his lieutenants isn't enough. I have to face him. Macros absorbs the Ethereum they send him. He believes he is already unstoppable. <laughs> He's wrong. I'll stop him. Okay, Orin. I guess it, they previewed all of our boss fights for us already. A lot of crazy bosses there. I wonder if we get to pick a particular order or if it's going to be already set for us. You are strong, Orin, God Smith. But not strong enough to defeat Macros and all of his men. You must train. I found a man who can help. He is a godsmith of some renown who can help you craft and upgrade your gear. The Vargul are holding him captive on the other side of the Crimson Glades. Head to the Vargul stronghold, breach their defenses, Godsmith. and rescue this Godsmith. This is where we can start crafting stuff? So there's a lot of stuff that I haven't yet to unlock. Augments, charms, banners. I mean, there's all kind of stuff that I haven't unlocked yet. Let's let's go into it. I'm ready to smack some stuff. All right, we're back to the map. Is there anything here? Uh, level recommended four or five. Explore the realm, search for treasure, face challenges, and learn the secrets of the realm. The secrets of the realm. Um, and then there's our godsmith, which is a level four. Let's just stick with that. I don't, I don't even remember what level I am. I think I'm close to five. I'm four or five, but we're going to stick with the story quest for now. Now this is the, uh, bleed, the bleeding valor plate. Um, uh, I don't know if bleeds are useful or not. We're going to find out. Strangers are not well liked by the Vargul. You, least of all. They will attack you on sight. Okay. Crimson Glades. We're back here again. Is this the same map? Ooh, what are those things? Is that the Vargul? Oh, we'll, we'll explore later. Whoa, what are these guys? These are new. Trollocs.
So tiny. Okay, I am level 5. Oh, hey, there's a bigger one here. That's a Vargul. Oh, ow. Okay. Get out of here. All right. So those are Vargles. They look kind of like lizard men. All right, the marker was back here. I'm not going to run around like the last video. We're going to keep this pretty targeted. Hello. I got a bow. Oh, oh, I almost forgot. Oh, we've got now new techniques, northern and southern techniques. We get to check that out. What the hell is this? Whoa! That was incredible. Huh, I didn't parry him. Wait, do I need to attack that thing? Oh, parry that guy, though. Oh, I love the hammer. Blind justice. All right, is anything? Is this thing dead? Is that it? Is that all you got? Do I need to smash it. I guess so. Are full of magic. Smash them, and that magic can be yours. Oh, feel the magic. Totems, huh? So I guess that's the totems I have to destroy. Okay. Well, there's another one over there. Now there was a view. Oh, that's right. This is our little show me the good stuff view for like crafting materials and whatnot. Oh. Uh oh. Now, if I remember correctly. Yeah, these guys need to be. Oh, ow. Was it breach? Yeah, so we got breach, which is kind of like a I call it stagger. Um, you stun them because you do a um, R three super move. Oh, I totally well maybe not. So the breach bar, you build that up, uh, stun them. You get to do a grapple attack, which is usually a one shot kill. And then there's also soul shatter. So soul shatter is where you hit with your light attack. Um, the health bar kind of changes to like kind of it's kind of like a white box. As soon as you hit R two, it knocks that. Uh, Health. See, I got a little bit of a white bar there. And then uh, R2 attack. Whoa, what the hell? Well, Soul Shatter. Oh, it's a shaman. It's different. Oh, he's fast. Not fast enough, boy. Missed. Oh, I thought I had that. Oh, I am an idiot. Okay. Alright, let me pop a healing item. Oh, I got that parry off, though. Nah, no, not that one. So, I'm about to get used to the timing again. Because I am a little struggling. Ooh, level 6. Cause it's it's been a couple minutes since I played Ooh, chest. Give me the goodies, give me the goodies. Give me the goodies. We'll inspect all of it later. Smash the totem. I assume this is part of my training. You are always training, Aaron. Always training. Okay, um, let's give me that healing item. Nice. There are two additional totems for a bonus. Let's see if we can't find those. Oh, crafting items. So it gets more infused Jasper because there's definitely some other Valor plates I want to check out. I think I want to try out the, uh, I don't remember what it was called, but the one that was built around Soul Shatter. That looks like it could be pretty fun. I think there was also uh, a curse and a poison as well. It needs infused Jasper. Hey guys. Get the shaman. Whoa! Oh, 
Oh, hello. Is that a blue over there? He's healing. Got a little bit of a stun, it's kind of annoying. And they're not very strong, they're not very powerful, but man, they got that stun. Oh, that was a blue. Tell me our options. I can shatter these magical barriers if we are able to gather in Alright, we've got the polarity up, so I also need to check out Archon Fury. There is a source of rich Ethereum there we can use. What's up here? Is this just another way around? Oh no, I need I do need to get this, whatever it is. A valor plate core. See, that's another crafting item that we're gonna need to create uh our valor plate, so Need those as well. Can I not go up here? Okay, there we go. It's weird not having a jump. It's it's weird not having a jump because you run into like a little step like that and you think it'd be easy for a powerful character like this to just kind of hop up, but... Oh. Is it a fog wall? It is a fog wall. I can't go that way. I guess some of the area is blocked off. Oh, I got that though. Teleport across. Oh, another one of these. More Valor Plate course. It is very cool, very cool. And then now we have some stuff over here. Now let's do a little ex exploration. Um, I want to find that bonus totems. I don't know if the bonuses do. I think that um, the hell is that puppies? I'm sure they're friendly. Check them out in a second. I want to do ex exploration. There's chests. Um, I get those bonus totems because I think that dictates what rewards I get at the end of the mission. And then also collect some of these things. Like I said, I want to craft some of the other Valor Plates. Because I haven't seen the bleed effect. I think there's a uh, debuff status that pops when the bleed hits, but it doesn't seem to be doing much. I don't see any effect on the health bar, really, unless they're, they're just dying so fast um, that I'm not noticing it. What is over here? Okay, I've been all these areas before in the last mission. That's one thing games that reused levels like this are pretty annoying. Um, especially considering we just played this mission and now we're replaying it in the next story mission. That's kind of a bummer. That's that's lazy development right there. Um, it is pretty to look at, but like we've literally just been to this area and now we're and a new mission, <clears throat> different objectives, but they're reusing the map, so that's that kind of sucks. That kind of sucks. If I remember correctly, there's one of those um, map beacon things right here, but not this one. So I guess that was just the last mission. <clears throat> we did start a different section of the map this time, because this I believe this is where we started last time. How the hell do I get that? Okay. Sunsteel. Oh. I just need to throw my shield at it. I think that's another crafting resource. <clears throat> oh, there's a purple up here. What is this? A portal. Just take us back to the Seventh Sanctum. Yeah, I think that takes us back to Seventh Sanctum. All right. I'm not ready to quit the mission yet. Something else too in the um. In the last video, the the game bugged, so there's like a kind of like a mission complete screen where you can tell it that you want to stay and you know farm more items, or you can tell it you know complete the mission, and it froze up on me. I could not close it. I had to actually hit options, um, and there's an option to complete the mission inside the menu, the start menu. So that was kind of a bummer. Um, I'm hoping that's oh codex. I'm orange journal too. I'm hoping that's not something that happens regularly because. That was kind of annoying. Um, right. <clears throat> gotta go, gotta go fast. I have not read anything in the codex. I need to check that out and see. As far as I'm, I can tell, it's just about stopping your brother from being a god. But I have no idea what this world is like. Um, obviously, we came into the first level, which is Earth, uh, Midgard. So I don't know if it's tied to Norse mythology at all or... Uh, 
it's like its own game world. So I need to read up on it and kind of get a better idea of what's happening here. I don't know what Aetherium is. So we're going to go to the pools and find out, though. Prismatic pools. It's over here. <clears throat> there are not as many chests this time around as there were last time. Uh, a little bit more infused Jasper, but not, uh, not a lot of chests than the last time we were here. Guess I'll quit screwing around and head straight over here. <clears throat> I have yet to see any of the uh, the other two totems either. I know it's a pretty big map, but oh hey, some trunks. Huh. Oh, there's a chest. I like little goblins. Oh, I hear another one. Right? Did I? Or maybe not. Open this chest. I don't think it's anything but currency. And these things. Earth aberrant. Okay, so that's a bleed. It doesn't seem to bleed very much. There is definitely a, uh, a, a debuff icon on the uh, the health bars when you get a bleed on, but it I don't know it didn't seem to do a lot of damage. That's kind of disappointing. Maybe I need to find more um, item pieces to kind of stack the damage a little bit. Or Jasper. Maps are definitely pretty. It just seems to not be a lot going on in here. Not nearly enough enemies. Um, I mean, there's a few enemies, but not enough. There needs to be more. A lot of running. What the hell's that? What the hell's that? You see what I see. I am housed within your valor plate. I can affect the world through you. There's a totem. I like the northern and southern techniques. It's really fun. <laughs> uh, the hammer does a nice little slam, which was nice for closing the distance. Oh, Jasper. What is happening? Wait, whoa, well, why is that? Oh, out. Okay, so there's a bleed. Let's see how it is ticking real slow. That is not worth using. That's disappointing. Is that our bonus? Alright, he, he teleports. Whoa! Bastard hit me from back there. Ow, I thought I got that block off. Ow, I definitely did not get that block off. Got that one though. Alright, so it was definitely a little little messy. Um, I gotta work on that, but uh wasn't bad. Seal breaker charged 40%. Is that what that is? Seal breaker? What the hell's the seal breaker? Do I have to like stand near it to charge it? Oh, I hear something behind me. Where'd you come from? Oh, they do projectiles. All right. Got three of these bitches. Deflector. too bad 92% oh 
Oh, there's a chest over there. Is that going to do it? 95, 96, yeah. Where's our bonus totems, though? That wasn't our bonus totems? Break the strong old seal. Hmm. I guess I'm going to do a little bit more exploration to find the bonus totems. Alright, more Jasper. I think I saw a chest over here, too. I did. Ooh. Raider rank 1 achieved. What the hell is that? I don't know what the ranks are. Break the stronghold seal. I don't know what the hell was that just a random event? I don't I don't know. That was weird. I guess we're gonna keep moving, keep trucking. Anything over here? Chests. Uh, nope, we got this guy here. What is this? Valor plate course? Yeah. Take it. I will take it. I will take that stuff. I need to craft. I want more battle plates. Whoa. This is different. To smash this? Oh, I must have missed my bonus objective because I saw it flash red. Oh, well. To see us. Trollux. I do like the hammer. The hammer is so fun. It's a really powerful weapon, and it's got a really awesome... Oh, you son of a bitch. I didn't know you over here. Really powerful arc. I just, ooh, level 7. I love the, the animations. It's just, it's a great weapon. Or Jasper. I guess that's just the crafting material of the land. I did get this sun steel, but that seems to be rare. Continue the search for your ally, the godsmith. I can craft some goodies. Oh. What? Sorcerer? Ow. Oh yeah, that's fun. Whoa, what the shit? That's new. Oh, I did not get that off of time. Alright. Oh, these are the sorcerers. Oh, they got little big purple bombs. Very weak, though. Oh. What am I hearing up there? Let's loot the blue chest. Give me some more gear. Maybe it wasn't a blue chest. This seems to be a healing chest. What is talking up here? I heard something talking, but I don't see anything. Hey, what the hell? Can I jump up there? I can. Oh. Huh. Saw the Jasper, but wasn't sure how to get up here. I guess anytime there's those marks, um, you're able to, to jump on top of it. This is a new section of the map. We have not been here. Oh, another one of these. I remember. And who's up? Oh, it's a smoke wall. This looks like a... Oh, that dude is huge. Um, is he charging? Our ghoul champion. Well, boss fight. Oh, he's got a parryable attack. Oh, shit. He's got some reach. Not too bad though. Out, okay. 
Oh, can another one of those I can't really parry. Not too bad though. Come on. Oh, where did you come from? What the shit? Something stunned me. Did. Oh, what? Oh, wow. <laughs> Got him. Wasn't too bad. Wasn't too bad. Oh! It's my first purple. What are these bigger coins? I have no idea what these bigger coins are, but we... Got a purple, people. Oh, shit. What is that? Rosary. It's a weapon. What oh, wrong button. I'm getting too excited. Um... Let's check out the Rosary. Fire DPS gain 11% Northern Technique. Charge whenever you hit an enemy with your Southern Technique. I guess it stacks on each other. 19% uh, 19 damage to ignited enemies and 6% polarity attack charge speed. That's definitely a Phoenix weapon. We're going to save that for the Phoenix. Um, I did get a bunch of new weapons. I have not looked at any of these yet. Faithful Polearm. Marker fragility. Weak point damage. I still don't know what weak point damage is. Critical hit damage. Weapon technique charge speed. I'm so disappointed. That is uh that's cool to have a epic piece of item, but that is a fire weapon. And we're gonna save it for the Phoenix. So what am I rocking here? The gavel. Level three gavel. Do I have a higher level one? I do. The only problem is uh, the, the stats, the 20% damage to bleeding enemies, being that this is the bleeding Valor Plate, well I'm going to keep that one. Uh, some of these others I don't think, they got different secondary stats. Um, oh well, we're, we're keeping what we got for now. Though. I see the new here. Soul Shatter build, eh, meh, meh. We do have uh, new skills. We do have new skills. So I got two skill points now. Weapon technique damage. Breach leaping shield bash deals 50% damage to full health enemies. I still don't know how to do a leaping shield bash. Oh, there it is right there. L1 and X to perform a petrifying slam dealing damage to nearby enemies and petrifying enemies breached by the attack. Oh. But there's a... Oh, you have to unlock weak points. Interesting. Ooh, parry window is 10% longer. Or a couple things. I think I'm going to buy this. Weapon timing, because that's always a fun perk. So many choices. So many choices. All right, let's go with finesse. Just because I want to start unlocking some stuff down here. Plus, what does the slide look like? You got to be sprinting to do that? Oh, double tap X. Ah, it's double tap. Okay. Um, let me check. Was there anything up here? There was Jasper. Let's get some Jasper. Uh, anything else back here? Chest. Man, got our first purple, and I don't, I'm not gonna be able to use it on this uh, Valor plate. Oh well. Money. Money, 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 money. Alright, let's get going. Let's go see if we can find this godsmith and see what we can craft with him. Wonder if we can deconstruct all the extra gear that I'm getting. Maybe I can use that for materials to, to build new stuff. That's pretty. Prismatic Falls. Ooh. Thank the Archons. Oh, hello. I thought I'd be stuck here. Wait. Oren? You're alive. Xenon, I didn't know it was you here. And I didn't know you were still alive. I'll take this as a sign. 
Perhaps we'll survive Matros's madness after all. Come, we have much to discuss. Are we going into a sanctum? Oh, Oren. He sounded so disappointed. Activate the Twilight Beacon. Uh, oh, here we go. Yes. Use spirit vision to reveal hidden objectives. Hidden objectives, huh? See, this is what I get to do last time. The game froze up, so hello. Options to return to Sanctum and to continue your journey. We'll do that in a second. Let's do some extra stuff here. This is a new section of the map we haven't been to. So I guess it's kind of like destiny in a way. So like you have a kind of a starter area and then as you continue on, the maps open up to different areas. So ooh, these are new. Hello, puppies. Rancor? That's not a Rancor. Can't use names like that. Come on, that's a Star Wars name. Rancor, come on, guys. That's that's cheating. Well, with your own names. Shoku. Come up with your own names. What is this? Codex page? Yep, Chronicle. Of the wolf. That's like a Duran Duran song. Uh, let's go this way. Let's see claw marks there, so we can hop up. Let's point me in the direction, I think. Still love the hammers. The hammers are fun to use. Oh, there's something right here. What is this? Wait, what? That look like a. Ch it is a chest, but it's hidden. Oh, this is cool. It's different. Can I hit it from here? I can. It's one. So it's a hidden chest. Ow, something blew up. Oh, that blew up. Ow, okay, that's what's hitting me. Get wrecked. Oh, did he teleport? Out. Where did you come from? Get wrecked, sir. Oh. Hey, they're teleporting, and teleporting is annoying. Teleporting is for sure annoying. All right, where you at? They're right here. Argul healer. The stun is nasty. Not really nasty, it's just annoying, I guess. Probably a little bit easier with a faster weapon instead of the big hammer, but it still hits really flipping hard. All right. This is different. Oh, I see some Jasper over there. I gotta find the other two um, locks for this thing. A lot of Jasper here. More Jasper on top of that hill. Oh god, explosion! Explosion! Ow.
the hell are these guys coming from? They're spawning all over the place. Anything else? The hell? These random portals are starting to suck. More Jasper. Oh, another. Chest. Looks like it has one lock. Two. There's two. Oh, I see one right there, and it says there's one over here. I'll see it, though. Ooh. Tricky. What X page? Now. Chest. Ah, there it is. Right there. Now, can I hit it from here? Shield's got pretty decent range. Oh, yeah. Alright, cool. And we're going to take it back up here. And then we got one more. That was right there. Oh, yeah. It's all coming together. Now, how do I get this guy? All right, I should open this guy over here. So we got the hidden one. We still got the hidden chest. That's the first time I've seen an actual hidden chest. So, give me something good. Vermilion band and a harmonic blade. Awesome. All right, let's go back over here. We're still missing. The thing about this thing is it doesn't show. Wait. Oh. Was it okay? We just had to play a little bit of game of whack-a-mole for that chest. That's different. I got it. Wasn't expecting to get it, but I got it. Alright, it's another prickle. Prickle and a blind justice. Ah, oh, so the hidden objectives are hidden chests. I thought that they were locked chests, but that is not the case. They are actually... Staying right out. Oh, hello. Hello. Get out of here. Get out of here. Alright, so we got two hidden chests there, uh, to go. There's, we have to figure out where the other ones were. They are bright ass orange beacons, so I'm gonna do my sixth sense thing here. Oh! Oh! Yay! I start using this view more often. Jasper. Ow. Son of a bitch. Oh, he's got the bleed though. Got him. Oh, random blue. Spine cleaver. That's new. Let's see what that looks like. 14 over health when you soul shatter and 5%. To eh, you know what? Let's swap it out. We'll, we'll try it. We'll try it. I still like the hammer. Hammer's fun. Um, I had that pole arm. I haven't really used it that much. Oh, I see. Uh, this looks. Oh God, this guy's fast. Okay.
Wait. The hell? I like going red. Gotcha. 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 Alright. That wasn't too bad. I don't know if they were buffing themselves. They're definitely glowing red. Alright, let's get the secret view. There is something right there. I still don't see the big ass bright beacon for the hidden objective yet, though. More Jasper. I guess that's what that was over here. Nope, oh, Codex page. So, where are we going here? This way. Oh, there's one right up there, actually, though. One at a time, I guess. One right here and one right there. So, oh, I see it. Is it another one of those lock chests? better at the combat I feel like this is a game I'm actually decent with the combat there's a lot of nuance to it but it's real easy to pick up The uh, slide actually gives a little bit of nice combat mobility. I'm digging it. Ow, shit. Alright, so the chest right there. Is this another one of those? Locked ones to have to smash stuff for? Find out. Yes, it is. Wait. Ow. Ow. Oh, there's so many. What am I supposed to do here? Keep growing, I need to... Oh, there we go. Hilarious that shit, because I have no idea what I was doing there. That was tricky. Let's try this new sword. Oh, it's a... Sword is nice. God, I like this sword. Sorcerers are pissing me off, though.
Uh... Alright, you dick. Son of a bitch. Teleporting. And explosions. Alright, I think I got everything. Uh, there's more enemies over there. There is so much to do here. Um, I need to find the other objective, which I believe is right there. Let's let's get this and wrap it up because I think this can kind of go on forever. All right, get that. Where's our objective? Right over here. Whoa! What the hell? Excuse you? What am I looking at here? Are they going to spawn in as soon as I touch this thing? Yep, they are. You first. That was easy enough. So I guess it's just hidden enemies. I gotta be careful about that. Different. Ooh, that was a big one. Harmonic Blade. Hacker. And grit. Weapon names are silly. Alright. I think uh I think that's gonna do it. I think we're good here. Complete mission. Alright, let's talk to our godsmith. See what this is about. So this is the inside of a sanctum. <clears throat> mm -hmm. She's quite something. Though I did not expect her to be so independent. She's a living being, Orin. Not merely some weapon to be wielded. Yeah, no well, kidding, Orin. case... I'll have to look to you for the weapons. Ha! <laughs> you never change. I'll provide you with basic arms. The rest we can forge. Here. This will help. A sacred flame. Go on. Light the forge with it. Oh, okay. Light the forge. Where's the forge? Visit the forge. I have no idea where the forge is. Uh... Flame, dear flame. Oh! It was right flipping behind me. You'll be able to upgrade your equipment once we gather the right materials. Ooh, fun. Upgrades. You've rekindled the forge. Flame, dear flame. Alright, so what does this do? Upgrade your equipment with resources to improve your stats. Equipment can be upgraded up to five times. Enchant your equipment to improve its rarity. Augments and common items cannot be enchanted. I still don't know what augments are. Oh, that's what the Electrum's for. Sun steel and dragon steel. I don't remember picking up any dragon steel. Oh, you can salvage. Got a forge now. Let's uh, let's see what an upgrade looks like. Let's upgrade something. Out. I do like this spine cleaver. What does enchant do? Oh, additional trait gained from enchanting. Timing attack damage. Okay. Oh, there's a legendary. So there's, okay, all right, so you have different traits. Um, looks like blue and greens, or greens don't have any traits. There's a primary only. Blues have a primary and secondary, and then when you get epics, you get two secondary, and it's like the secondaries grow per level. Okay, all right, that's kind of cool. I'm not gonna go crazy with it because I think we're gonna need to save some of these resources for later. Uh, we'll see, what does talk this guy do? Welcome to the shop. Purchase weapons items that might be useful in your quest. Ooh. Does he have charms? No. He has amulets, though. They have banners. He has banners! So these are just auras. 20% chance to inflict ailments. 43% chance uh, damage for each ailment on the enemy. Ooh. And then 22% damage to poison. So ailments is a help with a bleed. How much is that? We're going to buy this. Um, 
Because we don't have any banners. And I wanna I wanna see what banners are. They have augments? No. No no charms, no augments yet. Well, I think that's, uh, that's a good stop point. We've been at it for about an hour. Uh, this game's still really fun. Um, there's a couple annoyances with it. Uh, reusing assets, you know, running around the same maps. Uh, new enemies, at least. Uh, but I'm not... At least the map opened up somewhat, so we got to see some different areas of the same map. But having a blast with it. I still like the combat. It's very smooth. It's very fun and engaging. Uh, story's kind of bland. I, it just seems like stop your brother from being a god. That uh, seems to be the common complaint that I've seen, and I can see why. You guys definitely take care of yourselves, and then I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.